Call of Duty just revealed the entire Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer gunsmith system. We're going to go through all the major changes in today's video, plus some stuff on the weapon vaults as well. At first look, it's a little confusing, but I'm going to break it down here in the most comprehensive way possible. So let's go through first the three big changes here, then we'll break them all down individually. We have weapons, platforms, grow and upgrade a weapon far beyond its class to truly customize your loadout, evolve your weapon platform from an assault rifle to an SMG, DMR, and or LMG by swapping receivers on a specific platform, using a full suite of attachments to support your weapon's role. So that's that there. Again, if it's a bit confusing, we'll go through more of that in a second. The next major change here is the progression overhaul. Thanks to weapons, platforms, and branching progression, attachments are shared within and between weapons platforms. Depending on the attachment, it is either unlocked for all weapons within a platform or unlocked for all weapons in the entire entire game, which is really, really sick. Expect reduced repetitiveness and reasonable challenges to unlock attachments and camouflage. And if you crave a journey towards mastery, don't worry, we have that planned too. And then finally, big change here, pretty self-explanatory firing range. Test your creation without sacrificing KD within the gunsmith. More intel to come at COD next tomorrow. So the firing range is really sick, but let's go through and break down everything for the weapons platforms and the progression overhaul. So first up here on the weapons platforms, we have up on screen an M4. This is the Tempest Armaments M4, the first unlocked weapons platform in MW2, shown within an in-game gunsmith. The Tempest Armament attachments are shared between every weapon receiver in its platform, which is going to be the M4, the M16, the 5.56 Icarus, the FTAC Recon, and the FSS Hurricane. So those are the different weapons within this family here, within this platform. And it's super simple to get them. All you have to do is unlock your starter weapon, your M4 in this case, your Tempest Armament M4. You'll eventually unlock a receiver, which is a specific attachment slot. And that receiver will allow you to just switch over to a different weapon within that weapon family or weapon platform whatever you want to call it there so in this case you have the m4 you unlock the 556 icarus receiver you'll switch over to that 556 using that receiver and then your specific weapon platform attachments will carry over which i'll talk about more later on in this video it is super super simple really sick stuff there you could turn an m4 pretty much into an smg into different types of weapons as we talked about earlier uh, a really interesting concept here so i like that let's go through more what this all means here so again in mw2 operators will receive every base weapons platform from each manufacturer on their military rank rank 1 through 55 progression journey the first weapon unlocked on a weapons platform will be known by its receiver the core of a weapon that determines its primary use and strengths for example as i said before the above m4 the first unlocked weapons platform is from tempest armaments and is classified as an assault rifle after selecting a primary or secondary weapon and heading to the gunsmith you will see the receiver attachment in addition to slots for muzzles, barrels, magazines, and other parts you're already familiar with. So some more stuff here now. Here's just an example of the different receivers you'll have here and how to swap them. So you could have an M4, like you see up on screen, turn it into an M16 by just clicking that M16 receiver and all the attachments will stay there from that M4 onto the M16, which is really sick. Now there is a caveat. There are certain attachments that are only available for weapon platforms and then other attachments that are available for all weapons in the entire game. So pretty much, if you unlock a red dot sight for an SMG, that red dot sight will now be unlocked on every single weapon in this game, regardless of your weapon platform or family. But there are specific attachments that are only in a certain weapon family. So let's say you unlock an attachment for an M4 and it's an attachment that's only specific to that family. That attachment will only carry over to the M16, the 5.5 Icarus, etc. These weapons you see up on screen, but that attachment will not carry over to other weapon families. So you pretty much have attachments only for weapon families, weapon platforms, and then you have attachments which are for all weapons in the game, which I'll go through again in a second, but it's super cool there. I love that concept. Some more stuff here. We have the Tempest Armaments M4 weapon platform progression map. By leveling up each platform across each of its receivers, you will unlock attachments that can be used across all weapons within the platform 
as well as attachments across all platforms. And again, a weapon platform is what you're seeing up on screen. It's all of these weapons together, the M4, the Icarus, the Recon, the Hurricane, and the M16. Now to unlock these attachments here, what are the specifics for this? The first is for the specific weapons platform. You have receivers, barrels, stocks, rear grips, and magazines. These are shareable within the platform across all of the receivers, which again is just all of the different weapons within the platform. Now the second are attachments that can be shared across all weapons that are able to equip them. These are optics, ammunition, underbarrels, foregrips, and muzzles. This allows you to collect an arsenal of attachments that only need to be unlocked once. So again, if you unlock a red dot sight or an extended mag, for example, on an M4, that will be unlocked on every single weapon in the game that allows you to have a red dot sight and an extended mag. So probably not a rocket launcher or something like that or a riot shield, but every other weapon in the game, regardless of the weapon platform or family, will have that attachment which is so sick so when you're grinding your weapon levels and trying to level them up you don't have to start from the beginning with every single weapon which is so so cool here and again the only weapon attachments you're really unlocking now are for these specific platforms which those will be different for each of the platforms in the game and of course there's still the mastery grind as well for that top camo I think it's a much better system. I love it a lot, especially if you're trying out a new weapon for the first time or a DLC weapon comes out. Usually you hop into a lobby with no attachments, you get destroyed, and eventually you'll get those red dot sights, those starter attachments, and you'll get better and better here. But automatically you'll have a lot of those base attachments already unlocked if you just grind the game on a couple different weapons but then of course for the dlc weapon it'll probably be in a new weapon platform so there will still be other specific attachments to grind for with that weapon it won't unlock everything for you which is again a great thing a great compromise in my eyes so that's pretty much it there for the weapon attachments how that works in the game with the weapon platforms as well if you guys have any questions about that leave your comments down below i'll be doing videos on the beta this weekend breaking it down and finally here, we have the Cinder Weapon Vault, the FJX Cinder Weapon here. This is how this works. This is also super, super cool. So pretty much, again, this is going to be a media customization of the receivers, barrels, stocks, rear grips, and magazines of a specific weapon. The other attachments, which are, again, the base attachments, which are the optics, ammunition, underbarrels, foregrips, and muzzles, those will be unlocked separate. So when you get the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault or any other weapon vault for a different weapon with a specific blueprint, you'll have to unlock those base attachments separately. But if you just play the game, you'll have already unlocked those base attachments. So that's not a big deal there. And the great thing about the weapon vault is when you change to a different receiver a different weapon within that actual weapon platform you'll keep that super cool blueprint whatever they release there so of course you're going to see in the store every so often a sick new weapon vault that same blueprint will be available on multiple weapons within the weapon vault you could change the attachments around and it won't change what the actual weapon looks like so that's actually more simple i like how that works there really cool and we'll see in the beta how it looks in the game and how it works in the game as well but that's it for this video if you guys have any questions again on how all of this stuff works be sure to let me know down below in the comment section i'll try to help you guys out and i'll be doing a bunch of streams this weekend grinding the game breaking everything down for you guys and all of that good stuff but that's it for this video be sure to subscribe for more mw2 warzone 2 news update videos like this there's a video up on screen that may interest you so be sure to check that out really appreciate it, guys shout out to future channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys